Well, hello there, Gracie Grace. Yeah, your mother and I have nearly finished all the unpacking. Even though I've been doing nearly all the work. Oh, that's great. Listen, Dad? Yes, hon? I'm in a bit of a tight spot again. Could you lend me some more money for rent? What? We just gave you rent money before you left. Dad, that hardly covers anything. You've got to pay for gas, electricity, internet, food. And petrol. What do you need petrol so badly for? I thought you lived on campus. What if I need to come home? Don't you want to see me, Daddy? Okay, honey. Thanks, Daddy. Love you. I love you too. That's it. The second she gets what she wants, phone down. I told you the car was a bad idea. Oh, it's only fuel, John. Well, I'm just not sure that's the kind of fuel she's spending it on. What are you getting at, John? Drugs! Or alcohol if we're lucky. Oh, oh Alice. Oh. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just a bump, that's all. Oh, look, go and prepare for your big meeting tomorrow. Right? Sure. I'll put the kettle on. It's all set, the meeting's tomorrow, and guess who they want to give their big presentation? <laughs> oh, I knew they'd choose that living dinosaur. <laughs> oh, very funny. Yeah. Does you sound good? Yeah, sounds perfect. I like what you did with the teapot. I needed somewhere to put my change. Sorry, what did you say? Oh, 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 I've just cut myself, John! Alice, I think you need to come here a second. I'm a little bit busy bleeding, John. Come here. What is it? How are you doing that? You didn't put the change in the teapot. Neither did I. It does it itself. Don't be ridiculous, John. It does. But at strange times. What? Like when I just cut myself. Ready. I suppose if we did it 19 more times, that would be £100. That's not bad for an hour's work. 19 more? That's not bad for a day's work. Oh, please, honey, no more burns. So, no more burns. Honey, please, I've got the important meeting tomorrow. You know I can't miss it. Oh, I'll make this up to you, sweetie, I promise. with our exceedingly high sales track record combined with your appealing product. Uh, we will market this across the nation, timing it perfectly with the Christmas period. Um, all we ask is 30% of the revenue. Any questions? Alice! How have you been? I lost my job. 
That's great, honey. Did you hear what I said? I lost my job. What the hell happened to you? Well, first I did my nails, then I got my hair done, then I got that pedicure I've always wanted. Why would you do that to yourself? I've made over 500 pounds today, John. You should be grateful for that. Oh yes, I'm so grateful that while I'm at work getting fired, my wife's at home nearly killing herself. Oh, calm down. You don't need that job anymore. Come on. Let's make some more money. <laughs> no more of that, please. That teapot is the reason I lost my job. And our income. I've made my contribution. Oh yes, you were a piano teacher one day a week until you decided it was too demanding of your time. Hey, I look after the house, do the cooking. Oh, you can't even get that right. Sometimes I wonder what your purpose is in this so-called family. <coughs> Atlas, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. We don't have to hurt each other anymore. Oh, what? Sticks and stones may break our bones, but words may cut us deepest. Oh, no, Alice. Oh, don't be such a wimp. Get passionate. God knows I could do with some of that in the bedroom. <laughs> didn't mean that. I know you didn't mean that. Teapot says otherwise. I can change. Maybe if we experimented a bit more. John! Hurt me! I slept with Ellen Waterson after we had an argument at our engagement party. Continue. And she was great. We did things that your frigid little mind couldn't dream of. Well. She must have been so ugly and desperate that she was grateful. I faked it for 20 years! 10 years younger, 20 pounds lighter. Have you ever even heard of a gym, Alice? Well, your best mate made a move on me five years ago and I was this close to letting him all over me. I only started dating you to get closer to your sister. I settled for you after she came out as a lesbian. I hate you! I, I want, want a, a divorce! divorce. I need a phone charger. What are you doing here? Nice to see you too, Mum. Can I come in? Oh my God, you're bleeding. Are you okay? Oh, we're fine, dear. I can't believe you forgot that. You're always on that bloody thing. You are both so haggard and beat up. What happened here? Uh, we had... Uh, a fall. <laughs> right, I think I should move home for a bit. Haven't you got some school friends or something you need to catch up with here? Treat yourself. Thanks. Don't spend it all at once. Look, whatever it is you guys are going through, you let me know if you're okay, right? Of course, 
<laughs> well, you had to give us some cash, didn't you? Stop. 